Good evening, I'm Maggie Bradshaw. A Sippy Downs park has been burnt to the ground in a shocking act of vandalism on the Sunshine Coast on the weekend. The damage bill is estimated at around $20,000. Two people have been charged. The RACQ is calling on the Queensland Government to ban service stations from displaying discount prices on their big display boards. And the Kiwana Dolphins have been crowned champions, winning their third premiership in four years in the grand final. Possible showers in Maroochydore tomorrow, 27 degrees. Good evening, Aggie Bradshaw with you. The Sunshine Coast is pushing ahead with plans to apply for an undersea fibre optic cable. Federal Communications Minister Malcolm Turnbull visited the Sunshine Coast on Friday, meeting with business and community leaders. The James Ackerman Family Trust Fund has received a $340,000 top-up thanks to two major fundraisers over the weekend. And the Kiwana Dolphins have once again won the Caloundra RSL Cup down in Maroochydore on Saturday. Checking the weather now, possible showers in Maroochydore tomorrow 27 degrees. Good evening, I'm Maggie Bradshaw. Clive Palmer and the former general manager of the Palmer Coolum Resort have faced court today. Bill Shock alleges Mr Palmer tricked him into signing a contract that dramatically reduced his annual salary. Two Sunshine Coast police officers have been appointed to the police commissioner's new leadership team. And in the SGU Cup, the University Barbarians have smashed the Noosa Dolphins 47 points to 17. Checking the weather now, possible showers in Maroochydore tomorrow, a top of 27 degrees.